Hi guys, Rachel here with the Cackling Moon. I'm like, I could see my hubby outside the window. He's taking down the Christmas lights. So keep an eye on him to make sure he's safe. Um, but anyways, I wanted to come on here really quick and just um, kind of have like a little end of the year chat with you guys. So this isn't going to be a long video, at least I will try to make sure that it doesn't turn into a long video. Um, but I just wanted to reach out and like um, share with you guys a little bit of kind of like my, um, you know, like a little review of 2020 and just kind of some insight on the year to come, um, at least from my own personal perspective. So um, 2020 was quite a um quite a crazy experience it kind of like felt like it had waves of like you know, there were like positive moments and then there was like some really difficult challenging moments right um and when I look back on 2020 to me I look at the fact that it was literally the year of um me stepping away from the nine to five even though technically like my job wasn't so much a nine to five, but stepping away from working under the, you know, being someone else's supervisor to now doing my own thing and being Kathleen Moon full time. So it's been very interesting to see um, how the beginning of the year kind of was that transition transition. And then like everything else happened with, you know, the worldwide, um, shutdowns and like all of that kind of stuff so that kind of like created a crazy year in itself um when I talk to my friends and stuff about like you know how was your year or um what are your new year resolutions like usually that's kind of like the main topic of talks that a lot of us like to have with one another is like what are your new year re resolutions what things are you letting go of what things do you want to have more of um in the year to come and when people ask me for mine um, I really feel like a lot of my resolutions for 2021 are going to be very inner work related. Um, I'm also taking into consideration that I am having a hermit year. <laughs> 2021, um, my tarot year card is the hermit. So, um, a hermit year, which just for visual, let me, let me grab it. This is actually a Rider weight deck that I'm going to be showing off in another video. Um, it's not the best print job <laughs> but it is funky so it kind of looks better far away than it does up close the print job is just not the best um but anyways 2020 is a hermit year for me and the hermit is all about inner work and um lessons learning life lessons um the hermit is about self-growth I'm also really feeling like I'm going to be going through another spiritual awakening um I went through my very first one in 2012 and I think since then, um, it's been about eight, nine years, I think, eight years. <laughs> We're going into year nine of the spiritual journey. Um, I think I would have to say I've had at least two major awakenings since. So I think I've had a total of three. Um, but I really feel like I'm on the brink of another one. And um, I feel like because the Hermit is my year card for the year, I definitely feel like I'm going to be going through some major shift work. Um, a lot of healing is popping up. I actually got a reading done and my Gemini rising person personality, <laughs> um, I ended up taking like I copied and pasted my reading and I ended up putting it in, in another like little template which it didn't print out correctly here at the bottom but that's okay um so I created a little template for a chakra report because that's actually going to be a service I'm going to start to do for you guys um I miss the email readings and I want to kind of bring back just like very gentle one or two services for email readings um, because I personally love email readings because you get to print it out and you have it forever. So, <laughs> so this is basically what the email reading is going to look like. I created this all myself, um, but all of this is copy pasted from the actual 
um, reading that I got from somebody. So um, I was reading up on my chakra energy from this person and um, a lot of it was re very much resonated with me. Um, there was a couple things that I was a little bit like, no, that doesn't really resonate, but I'm not going to completely outrule it because I know the way spirit works. Some stuff that doesn't resonate will later. But um, getting the chakra reading like that, it really made me think about my own energy. And um, I feel like I'm going through, and especially in the chakra report, um, I'm going through a lot of healing. And I think that that's so true. I feel like it's a connection to my past. Um, a lot of healing work is being done um, because I am kind of coming full circle from the spiritual journey. Sorry if it keeps getting light and dark, but it's <laughs> the sun keeps going behind the clouds. Um, so I do feel like my having a hermit year is definitely opening the floodgates for healing, um, for a lot of spirit connection. I do feel my mediumship has grown significantly from this whole year. So that was something that was a very exciting, um, plus for 2020. Um, what else did I feel like? I grew 2020 was also the year of me creating new things for cackling moon you guys so um I put out a tarot course in the summertime um I had about 20 or so students total for that tarot course um I also launched my candles so the whole candle thing came to be um never made candles in my life <laughs> so I studied and I took notes I have like a whole little journal thing that I was keeping because I was studying you know how to make candles what products do I want you know how do I want them to look all of that good stuff so for a solid month I was doing all of the research and then in June I started to play around with candles and then by I feel like the end of June was when I launched my first batch and that first batch of candles I think it was like 12 candles or 24 candles sold out within two hours. So that kind of was like a sign to me that the whole candle thing has been meant to be. Um, and I absolutely love just having a product or having like something, you know, with cackling moon. So um, the whole candle thing was literally like I just, I wasn't planning it. It literally was an idea that one of my friends gave me and I just kind of took took it in another direction and it created what it is now. Um, so absolutely beautiful experience. Um, what else I feel, what else was born in 2020? Um, so I quit my job in January, 2020. Um, I, I resigned and then I pretty much went from working a part-time library position to working for myself and I work from home and that's all 2020 has just been me acclimating to the life of working for myself. <laughs> um, it's been very interesting. I had it literally you guys two months, January and February was two months of me just getting used to working from home and no longer commuting an hour and a half to work, um, on a daily basis. So, <laughs> um, it was interesting. And then shortly after, everything else happened. And so we were already like shut down and everything. So I really got used to working from home and being in my home element. Um, and I love it. So I have to say the majority of 2020 experiences have been pleasantly positive. Um, there have been a couple hiccups. There's like some family drama that was happening within my family. Um, not necessarily in my inner circle, but it did kind of affect us. Um, so there was like a little bit of that. What else? Um, other negatives. Luna, no, no, Luna, Luna's been fine, but, um, I don't think there was like really that many. I'm doing a video. Oh, sorry. I think you, 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 you help me when you get a chance. You need help? Yeah. With the ladder? Yeah. Okay. I'll go right now. Um, but anyways, you guys, I guess I'll just cut this short. Maybe I'll start again. I'll have to start the video again. But um, other than that, what I was saying was I don't think that there was that much negative stuff to really bring up that I feel happened throughout 2020. Like my husband and I have been blessed with being healthy and we've been blessed with um, just a beautiful marriage and a nice cozy house. And, you know, I think just little, little things here and there, like your typical, like, 
you know, your typical bad days that we dealt with. But I think the major one was probably just some minor family drama. And um, I don't know. I really feel like although, and I know this comes from a place of privilege to say this, but I really feel like this whole lockdown thing that we went through um, for 2020 actually kind of helped me push myself to create and to manifest beautiful things in my business. So I'm very excited to see what happens for 2021. And I'm excited to know that I will have a hermit year. So I'm a little scared for it because hermit year can kind of sometimes be a little scary, but I'm also excited. So anyways, my loves, this is going to be a very quick video. I might do a second piece and then we'll just like mash it together like a little vlog, but hubby needs help with the Christmas lights. And it's probably a good thing he asked me for help because I wouldn't want him to God forbid, fall off the ladder. So <laughs> anyways, you guys, I love you. I hope you have a beautiful New Year's Eve. We're staying cozy here at home. Stay safe, please. Don't drink and drive. Um, but anyways, my loves, comment below and tell me how was your New Year's? What are you doing? Are you setting New Year's Eve? Um, are you setting New Year's resolutions? My resolutions and my intentions are pretty much business related and self. Since it is a hermit year, I will be working on self, a lot of self-love, my health, um, and just really myself and my health is coming up first. So that's all I have to say. Love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your 2020, and I will see you guys in my next video next year. Bye, loves.